To give the republics the right to secede from a single state without any conditions? At first glance, this is generally incomprehensible, some kind of madness. Russian President Vladimir Putin in a primetime address to his nation on Monday, giving his own history lesson about Ukraine, a country he repeatedly argues has long-standing ties with Russia and was once part of the Russian Empire. Now, in a move foreign affairs analysts see as a bid to reclaim territory, Putin will recognize independence for two separatist regions of Ukraine, Luhansk and Donetsk. When it gets down to what he is talking about here, is that Ukraine never should have been separated from the Soviet Union. It is a part of Russia, and I'm taking back the land that is rightfully ours. Questions remain as to exactly how Putin moves forward. U.S. officials warn as many as 190,000 Russian troops surround the Ukrainian border, ready to invade. All eyes are also on Western leaders to see how they respond. You can feel the reverberations across Eastern Europe and Western Europe, where there is a, a lot of concern. Where does Putin stop? Where does this thing end? The U.S. responding with sanctions. We've been very clear about what they are, how severe they're going to be, and we'll see what Mr. Putin decides to do. Ukrainian forces are preparing for the worst, as shelling from Russian-backed separatists intensify. President Biden, who also spoke with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on Monday, has signaled he is open to meeting with President Putin if Russia hasn't invaded Ukraine just yet. The prospects of that summit dimming, though, after Putin's speech on Monday. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox News.